Okay, so let's say, uh, okay, let's say someone is going, let's let's say someone is going to interview in such companies. Uh, they have their interviews lined up. Uh, what what do you think? Some of the good tips that you can give to them. What should they focus on? What should be their thought process? How should they, how should they proceed in the interview? So what what are some good tips from your side? You think are really important when you uh, are really important to keep in mind when you are going to give an interview. So the first thing is talk in code. It's basically a policy of Amazon and Google both. they do not want like for example you are providing me with a question they do not want me to go all silent and start typing without even saying anything the first step is ask what the question is about you need to really wrap your head around the question if you if you haven't really understood the question you will miss out on corner cases so if you've provided me with a question if an interviewer is giving you a question you need to first have a discussion with him ask him questions this makes them feel that you're really involved in the process because once you are working in company you would be provided with a problem there would be a task and you would have to discuss it with people you would have to have a dialogue with them ki how do i need to do that so the first step is you need to have a discussion do not just listen to the question and start typing it won't work talk and code secondly when you are thinking they are more interested in the approach that you are having coming to the final solution yes it does count but having a discussion is more important like for my spring's question that i um, that i got i was having a, a constant discussion with him ki okay i need to do this i need to do that this is how i'll go thinking one thinks in his own mind but try and speak this would make them understand the approach that you're having plus if you're not speaking and if you're thinking about a wrong approach basically you're losing out time and they don't even know what you're thinking right so if in case anyone is wrong they would simply tell you no no you're you're going in the wrong direction come back in the game Third tip would be to be very very focused on the programming language that you want to select. Do not expect them to select it for you. I know a few people who were juggling between Python and Java, and when the interviewer asked them which language do you want to do it, they were like, "I could do it in any." But be sure which language you want to do it, because if they tell you something else and you don't know it, you are off to a bad start. so when they ask you which coding language you would be using tell them straight away that i will be using so and so the fourth thing is that try and optimize as much as you can and it basically like my interview came and he already told me that you would be coding only when i feel your approach is correct many a times it happens that a person starts with on square time complexity and slowly and gradually they start optimizing it but that happens when you are provided with only a single question you have ample of time and you only have to do that particular question since i was already told in the beginning that there will be two there was no time that i start with the bottom then come to the top think for 5 minutes and then just discuss it and then start coding and right. coming to that bug free point that you just said my code when i said that yes sir i am done we basically had to write a function because codes are not run uh, during the interviews they are simply dry run by the candidate so there were two two three bugs he was very chill he said there's a bug at line this so he wants you to identify it he is never going to tell you there's a semicolon missing or there's a for missing or anything so simply tell line number 17 has a code and uh, just debug it so that is what they were saying this helps them see that whether you know how to debug your code as well because programming is 50% coding and 50% debugging thanks thanks a lot uh, actually this these are really wonderful tips from you uh, and I, and i can assure like if someone follows these tips it will become really easy to you know crack any interview um, thanks a lot binda for you know sharing these and artic- articulating them really well great it was uh, nice talking to you that said from my side i had only those these questions just one thing one last thing like uh, if if one mantra that you need to give uh, something that Uh, you might have followed throughout your life throughout your college days um, something you want to share with everyone who is watching the video what that one thing would be which you want to share so i would like to say that first thing that that's my mantra it's my linkedin cover as well as hustle right never settle never settle like even if i have amazon i'm not settling right now also i'm still trying for other things so once you try and settle into something you would basically um just tell your mind that this is it this is my potential and there's this very good theory in japan that one that once you tell yourself that you are done there's still 40% potential left in you so try and always hustle 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 amazon is not the end of the world google is not the end of the world yes right. they are huge companies amazon is currently the biggest conglomerate in the world but never stop hustling secondly always believe in yourself 
people might be coding from the first year people might be having world ranks they might be qualifying acm iptc they might be doing so many things but that does not mean that you are lagging behind and do watch kota factory it would change your right. opinion towards learning okay. and always believe like if you think you can do it you can do it yeah so awesome. those are my tips for any job aspirants out there great so uh, thanks a lot vinda thanks for taking out time i hope uh, and actually wish that you uh, you know uh, do well in your coming up internship and you get the ppo from them um, all the best from all the viewers uh, thanks a lot for sharing everything with us thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you really like the tips uh, given by vinda these are really wonderful and great tips someone should definitely follow in their life um, if you if you really like the video to uh, subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications for future videos uh, do share the video do like the video right um, and if you have any suggestions any anything to share just put them in the comments maybe if you have some tips right other than those which are already shared um, just do put them in the uh, in the comments it will be really helpful for everyone who is preparing for jobs awesome thanks thanks a lot bye